I'm going to aspirate uh, two milliliters at 35 percent isopropyl alcohol. I'm just slowly pulling up a syringe device and drawing in air to mix with the sorbent to wet the, the sorbent so that we can condition it. That will allow it to mix with uh, aqueous solutions because the reverse phase sorbent is hydrophobic. So I get this nice little slurry. Just wait about 10 seconds is all you need and I'm going to dispense it out. And I'm going to aspirate water and do the same thing. Doing it a little bit slow. Pump the syringe kind of slow because again, the sorbent is hydrophobic. So I'm just going to pull up about two milliliters of water and then slowly bring in a little bit of air to wet the sorbent. It kind of creates these large bubbles. Just wait a few seconds. This allows the uh, sorbent to become wetted. I'm just going to dispense it. Now I'm going to aspirate this Kool-Aid solution, this grape Kool-Aid. It contains two dyes, a red dye and a blue dye. I'm just going to do the same procedure. I'm going to aspirate this in. Slowly aspirate it. I'm just going to aspirate air. It creates these air bubbles that mix with the solution. It creates a perturbation of the solution. Now I'm going to let this equilibrate. It works best if you let it equilibrate for about 20 to 30 seconds. So I'm going to let it stand there. Now when I dispense this, I'll probably elude a little bit of the red dye, which is more polar and more water soluble. So I'm going to actually uh, re-aspirate that solution and mix it again to try to make sure I get all the red dye extracted out. So what we're going to try to do is extract all the color out of that great Kool-Aid. So now when I'm dispensing, Almost all the color is out. There's just a slight pink color just from a little bit of red that's coming out. I'm going to actually just re-aspirate the solution. Mix it with air again. Wait about 10-15 seconds. Equilibrate and I'm going to dispense. See, it's a completely colorless solution. All the dye is on the sorbent now. So we've extracted the dyes out of the solution. It's on the sorbent. Now we're going to try to elute. I'm going to try to elute them selectively and separate out the two dyes just based on their polarities, their differences in polarities or solubilities. I'm slowly aspirating 4 milliliters of 17% isopropanol. And I'm going to do it slow. So this is a five milliliter tip and I don't want the solvent to uh, go up above that barrier. I'm going to let it stand for about 15-20 seconds and then when I dispense it I should be able to separate out the red dye. The red dye should elude. Now what's happening here is the red dye is more soluble in water and the blue dye is less soluble. The blue dye is actually a little bit more hydrophobic and actually interacts with this sorbent a little bit greater. So when I dispense this, you should see the red dye. And you'll see on the sorbent, the sorbent's turning a blue color because the dye is absorbing to the styrene divinyl benzene first phase sorbent. I'm going to do one other thing here. I'm actually going to add a little bit of water to the top of this tip. I'm going to take it off the syringe. I'm just going to dispense from a water bottle. Just a little bit of water to the top. About a half to one mil. What that's going to do is going to allow me to wash all the red dye off. So I can make sure all the red dyes are polluted. Now I'm going to loop the blue dye, loop the blue dye by using 70% of isopropanol. This is two milliliters. I'm just 
drawing in air. I'm going to wait about 10-15 seconds and then dispense and I should have the two dyes separated. Then we're going to run these on the UV-Vis and you'll see from the UV-Vis spectra the uh, two dyes not only separated but also you'll quantitate the concentration of the dyes in each of the solutions. And of course then determine what the concentrations of the dyes are in the original grape Kool-Aid. Now you have the blue dye. If I want to get all of the blue dye off of the sorbent, I can elude again the 70% or even add a little bit of 70% to the top. But about 95% of the dye is already removed. You pretty much have, you're back to a white sorbent again. That's it. So what you see here is the, uh, the two test tubes that we just did the elutions from. The bottle above them is the great Kool-Aid, the original starting solution that contained both the red and the blue dye. And you'll see that the uh, volumetric flask, when you bring them back up to the solution, what they look like, and you have the red and the blue separated. And notice how the red dye looks much like that red Gatorade. Well, that red Gatorade contains the red 40 dye that's present in the great Kool-Aid. And notice that the blue color looks just like that blue Gatorade bottle. Uh, likewise, it's, it's what's called blue one is the dye that's present in that solution.